Hello and welcome to Polish Stitch English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. I have some leftover pieces of fabrics here, including a very nice green patch. I saved it from the scraps that I set aside for pizza. The most important thing when throwing out a trash is not to start looking at it. And I always do when it comes to fabrics. But these pieces are enough for me. The fabric is synthetic, it melts. We will process the edges very carefully, so that the threads do not crumble. Notice I bring the cloth to the side of the flame. If brought from above, the fabric will tan and smoke. And I need to shape these pieces, add a little waviness. I hold its one edge with tweezers and pull the other with my fingers. Cut out a rectangle about 10 cm by 20 cm from burgundy fabric. I do not give the exact dimensions, because you will take a look for yourself according to your idea. Cut out a square from the light yellow fabric. You will also need two pieces of beige brown fleece. Measure the size according to your materials. We sew just a little on a sewing machine. One seam on the burgundy piece, two seams on the yellow ones. Fold the square in half and sew on the short sides. On the beige brown part, draw three leaf contours with a water soluble marker and sew them. We put an auxiliary fabric of a neutral color and a piece of padding polyester on this part. Lay a line along the edge, leaving a hole for turning out. Cut off the corners and turn out the detail. Turn out the burgundy detail as well, gather one edge with small stitches on a needle and thread, sew it well, tighten and fasten it. After that, we will fill it with scraps of padding polyester. We will also tighten it and firmly sew the other edge of the sausage. If you need to fix the shape, then stick in a needle, pull the filler and give it shape. After that, lightly singe the open cuts over the fire and press down with the scissor blades. We got two pretty pieces from the yellow square. We turn them out and straighten them. Now let's take our base and cover it with a piece of fleece. As a basis, I took a school pencil case. This pencil case is trimmed with tape along the edge. It's very convenient to stitch to it. Now, let's start decorating. We will lay our green blanks, lettuce leaves. Secure them with a needle and thread. Then add the yellow pieces of cheese. By the way, the color of the fabric surprisingly matched the color of the real cheese. I wasn't lazy. I actually opened the refrigerator. We continue to make our sandwich with a sausage. Are you also getting hungry looking at this piece? Fix the sausage, sew it tightly. You should understand that there will be many people who want to test this yummy one for strength. Playful fingers, and not only children. Therefore, sew tightly. Now let's close our sandwich with a second slice of bread. First, we sew it on the far side with an unconspicuous seam. And then we sew the roll to the sausage with a few stitches. So what do you think? I think that any student will be happy with such a pencil case. Children love such unusual things. 
Talking about schools, I worked as an English teacher in Vietnamese schools for two years. Do you know how the teachers discipline the classroom there? If the children are not listening, the teacher takes a big stick and starts banging it on the table. Yes, for the thousands years history of the mankind development, pedagogy has not been able to come up with anything better than a big stick. Regardless of discipline, it's fun to go to school with such a pencil case. And needlewomen can store pencils, markers, hooks, reapers, tailors, meter, pins, thimbles. Well, I'm not sure I still want to give it as a present. I need it myself. I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. See you in the next episode.